Hey guys, it's Bonnie from Boulderbond. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing what I keep in my studio office desk drawers. Now, if you're not familiar, I own an online shop. I sell stickers, stationery, and craft supplies, and all of that happens in this studio office. It is fairly small, so I have to utilize every single nook and cranny, and that includes my desk drawers. So I do a lot of my packing, shipping, designing, everything you can think of at my desk, and so I like to have everything at arm's reach. So you're going to see I jam-packed these desk drawers, so there's a lot of things that I like to keep organized to make sure that everything has its place and I can get to it easily. So let's turn you guys around so you guys can see what I'm working with. All right, so starting with the top of the desk, I have a tray filled with all of my little goodies up here. I keep my iPhone on this silver iPhone stand. It has a little peephole in the back so you can keep the cord out of the way. I love it. I also keep some pens up here, some little flowers, my mini sticker albums with all my mini stickers in it, a candle, and of course my Alexa. Moving on to the right hand side, I have two Hobonichi Weeks planners, one I use for planners planning the other four testing. I also have three sticker albums here. I made these to fit the Boulder Bond sticker sheets. So I have a large one for the jumbo stickers, Hobonichi week size. And then this one here is for the quarter sheets in my shop. It is so easy to actually flip through and find the perfect sticker while I'm planning. So now I don't have to rummage through my bin of stickers and I can spend a lot more time planning and getting getting things done. All right, moving on to the drawers. So the top drawer here is my main drawer. You're going to see a lot of these acrylic containers. They're my favorite to organize everything. I got them from the container store. I have a lot of greeting cards up top because I like to write cards for any occasion. I also have these really fun scissors. They have like squiggly lines on it, a large eraser because of course I make mistakes and I try to erase them. <laughs> I I also have this blue bin. I keep all of my freebies that I give out in my Etsy store here. They fit perfectly in these and they come in lots of fun colors. I'll leave a link to them down below along with everything else that I mentioned. If I forget something, just let me know and I will put that up for you. I also have all of my little cellophane bags that I keep in this glossy box. This fits perfect along with my acrylic containers. I also have another pink divider here. This one holds all of my Boulder Bond logos, a little sticker pouches to hold all of these sticker flakes. Now, um, I like to add extra little bits in order, so sometimes you might get some sticker flakes along with a little sticker freebie. And of course, I have to have my pens in here. So this is really nifty. It fits right on top of the acrylic containers. I have some black pens and colorful pens, and you can see I can just push it and get to all of the stuff below easily. So moving on to my second drawer. The second drawer is actually where I store a lot of my stickers. So this one has all of my Hobonichi week stickers. So um, all of the weekly kits on the right and then all of the functional sheets on the left along with the monthly kits right up front. Now moving on to the third drawer. This is where I store all of my quarter sheet stickers and my mini stickers. So these are in those divider bins. I have my clear dots here, all of my foil stickers, and my larger decals. This one is so pretty, super shiny that says 2020. And then I have all of my quarter sheets here. Now these are the newer ones that I have not added to the shop yet, but they will be coming this week. Now I made all of these dividers on my silhouette machine. If you guys want to know how I make them definitely let me know down below and I can do a little mini tutorial I love them I don't have any labels for them now but I might be making some really soon because you can see this is getting extra full and it might be useful to see what I am looking for <laughs> Thank you.
this next drawer is all of my oops stickers so stickers that have minor flaws little mistakes either I have discontinued them some color differences I like to keep all of them like the mini stickers quarter sheets and larger sheets together so I can see what I have and then I usually just give them away so you guys might see a large giveaway coming up because that is pretty full. And the last drawer on this side have all of my cellophane baggies and my craft bags. These are cute little polka dot craft bags. I like to use these for um, mystery bags of stickers. And then moving on to the left hand side. So yeah, did you think that all those pens on the right were the only ones I had? This is not even all of them, I have to say. I might have a slight pen addiction. <laughs> so the Tombow pens are in these white containers I got from Target. In the back here I have some colored pencils and then in the top here I have some wax pencil crayons. I also have these French friction erasable pens. I got these when I first started planning. I loved them so if you guys have any anxiety about um, using the pens in your planner use those first because you can always erase them if you make mistakes. I also have some more friction pens in the back here these are really fun colorful pens as well and then I have my Crayola tips on the bottom here there's two layers and then you guys can see I actually have some hidden Prismacolor pens in the back and then right on top I keep all of my Micron black and colorful pens they are so nice and handy just to get everything so that is one of my favorite drawers the second drawer here is all about business I actually sell planner pouches in my store so there's a5 a6 and a7 sizes I like to have them at arm's reach so um, I can just place them in orders I even have them packed into threes because I get the uh, orders for one of each as well next drawer is my personal sticker stash so up top here I have these dividers I got them from the container store it has all of my loose stickers in it mainly from other shops I also have some larger sticker pads from like Happy Planner, Mambi, things like that. And then I also have two more acrylic bins filled with stickers. The bottom one here have all of my alpha stickers, number stickers, and all of my labels. So it's really nice and easy to find them, especially when I have a method and I know where they are at. The next drawer is a mismatch of stuff. So the top here is actually another glossy box. This is filled with like all of my use it up stickers. Unfortunately, I'm not using them up this way. So I'm gonna have to put them in albums in order for me to use them. This box is filled with ephemera and journaling cards, things that I like to use for scrapbooking. I also have some little sticky pockets here, some things for Etsy like my card backs here that I use for my enamel pins or for my sticker flakes that I sell in the shop as well. And then the last drawer here, these are extra sticky pockets. Now I use these um, in my shop. I put vinyl stickers over them. I store them in these bins that I got from Michaels. I also have my enamel pins in here. I only have three at the moment, but I will be adding more to the shop. I also have some colored pencils and some extra vinyls that I use for giveaways. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I store and organize everything in my dust drawers. If you guys want to see a video on how I make all of my sticker dividers, definitely let me know down below. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching everyone and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!